Hello everyone, so I know today is not Sunday and this is not a mistake I'm going to upload this video in the at the middle in the middle of this week. Anyway, I will upload this video because I'm going just to talk about my new softbox Maybe you can see that the light is stronger and maybe Yeah, better than the last two videos where I was um, Using my handmade softbox is just a small handmade softbox from cartons, you know, and But today I got a very cheap and but really very good softbox. I like this softbox a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this review. I'm saying that from the beginning. This is not a sponsorship. So I don't care if you put this softbox or not. But I'm doing this review because I, I was surprised as I tried this softbox at the first time. I didn't expect to have this light quality. So the reason that I got this softbox is that I started to make more videos at home. And in my old videos, I I used a lot of different things. I tried a lot of different things. One of them was the using of the available light, daylight, which is coming from this window. The problem with this method is that you can't always have the same light. For example, when I'm taking videos in the middle of the day, when, when it's sunny, is I have a different light when it's cloudy. And the problem is that when you want two hours, for example, to make a video and it's sunny, and after that cloudy, half an hour sunny and half an hour cloudy, and you will have different light every scene or every yeah and it doesn't work in other videos i tried also to use a very normal room light but it's i've started to find that it's not interesting because there's no you know highlights and shadows you don't feel that there's main subject in front of the camera because everything you see is the same light and it's not very good also the room light is not very good option and after that, I started to think about using my old handmade softbox. I have a handmade softbox. I made something like two years ago because I was interested in food photography and still life photography. And I made these photos using this soft, uh, that softbox, the handmade softbox. But the problem with this softbox is in video, it, it wasn't very strong. The light is not so strong. But in stills, in making photos, is very good because I'm, yeah, the foot photography, you are on a tripod and you don't care about shutter speed. But in the videos, the light, as I said, wasn't strong enough. That's why I got this softbox. Now I will open the bag of the softbox in front of you. So yeah, I will show you everything comes in the bag of this softbox. So this is the main bag of the softbox and I will... So this is the diffuser of the softbox. I like the size of this lamp, it's very big. So this is 85 watt and 5500 Kelvin, which means daylight. So this is the tripod, the tripod of the softbox. I have to make like that. Yeah. So the last part obviously we have the softbox itself. the softbox so I will put the softbox on the stand and after that I will open it in front of you so it has to be like that oh, okay so it's like that so I have to put it here Mm -hmm. like that so let me now open the softbox so you have to Press the center of the softbox 
until it reach this area here exactly like that it's like there's no light another light in the room and i really can't look directly in the lamp it's very strong light so i will put the diffuser as you can see we have four pieces from this to to be able to attach it on the uh, on the softbox itself so. obviously you can see my face my face is dark because the phone is taking the exposure or is metering the exposure from the softbox I have to do like that so now so I, I will turn off the light of the room I have to say I didn't expect this light quality it's very strong and I feel my eyes hurt when I look directly on the lamp even after putting the diffuser it's really worth buying for me it's amazing for making videos and for YouTube as I can see right now I'm not sure anyone can tell I'm using a 30 euro softbox or 500 euro softbox so thank you very much for watching this video please consider subscribing if you are not already if you are interested in landscape, woodland photography, photoshop, lightroom all of this stuff see you next Sunday